Alrighty, well, good evening, or good evening, everybody. Or, I'll just go and say, good morning, everybody. Um, it's you no know, cast time once again, and kind of got off on the wrong foot there. Um, but let me uh, go ahead and intro this music real quick. Um, this is gonna be Ivan the Tolerable, uh, the continuous Catherine Martin Uh, it's it's meant to be kind of like kind of like retro y kind of music. Um, I, yeah, I, I'm trying to. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Oh God, it's like the kind of mo kind of music you hear in like '70s movies, that kind of thing. But yeah, limited pressing of 300 on Crimson Fog vinyl. Oh, I've never even, I've never even heard of the damn movie. The continuous Catherine Martin Ho. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, and uh, I did forget to sound test this, so let me... Alright, so it looks like I do have to turn it down some. Pause. That's gonna get too distracting. So let, me, let me turn it down through my OBS. All right. Okay. So now we'll start it over. Okay, but uh, oh, also I need to mention too that the reason I'm going with uh, the reason I'm going with music this time is uh, I do have a fair amount to talk about, so I'm not gonna really. I'm not gonna be be able to really focus on the scenery, so like I said, I've I've got a fair amount I have to say. So, and, uh, well, it's, music's going okay. It's just quiet there for a while. Um. Oh, and also, like usual, um, I've got a fair amount of visuals, a fair amount of moving parts and stuff. So, just don't be surprised if I make a few goofs here and there. I am, I'm doing this live and in real time. I'm not like, like most other uh, content creators. They'll, they'll write a script, read off that script, and then they'll, they'll use their, uh, they'll use their movie editor or their video editor to carefully set, you know, carefully set up all their visual stuff and all their animation and all that. No, I'm, I'm, this is pure improvisation right here. I'll just, just set up some stuff. I just some. Set up some stuff I need, and then just go from there. So. But anyway, to start with, um, um, yesterday's pinball or fuck it, today's pinball session. And er, let me let me put the brakes on that real quick. Another thing too is um, I I'm also trying to keep the file size down on this because I need to be able to upload it uh, fairly quick. Ideally, I want to get this video done and uploaded uh, within about an hour because it's Monday night so there's going to be that chance that my my ISP spectrum or charter spectrum might be doing doing planned maintenance on my internet which means I'll be shutting it off um, so again I want to I want to get all this squared away beforehand so anyway um, but anyway for today's pinball session went great I mean I was freaking superb just I think um I think there were um I think there was like one or two tournaments that I that I really kicked butt in um but most of the other tournaments I entered um I I I either um I got I, I ranked really high uh ranked high um there might have been one or two tournaments that I never should have bothered entering that I did pretty ass in, but I can't I can't remember which ones those were. And if there were, there are very few. Um But uh as far as the uh the matchups go, um I should be promoted to a new league tomorrow. 
because I, I mean, oh god, what was the ranking number? I think out of uh, out of 400 players, I think I ranked uh, 45 or 46th place or something like that. So pretty damn good. So like I said, I'll be um, I'll be a lock for next week. We moving up to a new league. So. And then pinball arcade, same thing. Um, I even beat a high score. Or I should say I beat one of my old high scores, but otherwise I did pretty damn good on all the other tables. So, um, Zachariah Pinball, same thing. I didn't, I didn't do exceptionally well on any of the tables, but I, again, I was good and solid, solid performer. So, you know, didn't. Didn't do too badly, and I need a. I did forget to do something here, so I need a. I need to get it patched up. Okay. So yeah, um. So yeah, pinball arcade, um. Did great in um, Zachariah. Um, I did pretty, did pretty damn good in that too. So, but um, but uh, one of my um, one of my viewers, I can't remember his name, but he just, he just popped up and he just started extolling the virtues of um, uh, of visual pinball and all that and how great it is and. It's the stuff's way better than FX3 and Pinball Arcade. Basically, he basically sounded like a drug dealer or a street hustler, or, you know, like he's, you know, like you know, how to, oh, how to, oh, there's a word I was looking for. Kind of like a, kind of like a used car salesman trying to really sell me on VPX. But yeah, he's. Basically saying, ah, oh, you don't want to play that pinball arcade or FX3 crap. Zachariah, pfft, man, you should play VPX. Oh, that is so wonderful. The tables are great and all that. So, so I, I went ahead and um, just basically to humor him. Um, no, oh, actually, let me rewind back a bit. Uh, some uh, time ago, I did try up. Uh, I did try downloading, or I did try uh, getting BPX, but the problem is, is I couldn't find it. I mean, it, as dumb as it might sound, I typed down a thing, BPX pinball on Google, went to the BPX website, and it wasn't there. I mean, because most of these other places, you know, there's like a little, little button that you can click, you know, download such and such game, you know, right there. It wasn't there. I had to actually ask this guy, where do you go for that? Because all I was seeing was just like, uh, was like forums. Um, I was seeing all these uh, pinball games that you can get, but no BPX, no, no engine. I, for lack of a better word. So, but um, he did provide me some links. You know, I downloaded BPX and um, and uh, I actually downloaded a. Uh, I started downloading tables, but out of the five or six tables that I downloaded, only two of them worked. And I think um, a lot of the reason why is um, is uh, they required a uh, is there a ROMs missing, which which kind of harken back to when I was trying to get Fightcade up and running. I mean, it was kind of the same thing as VPX. Now, I mean, it's you're like a kid in a candy store with these. I mean, just about every arcade game imaginable out there. You know, every arcade game that exists is on Fightcade. Too bad I can't access any of them. I try to... I try to download them, but... It says there's ROMs required. Well, why the fuck aren't they in the folders to begin with? Um, same thing with Visual Pinball. You know, um, I... Again... Out of the five or six tables that I downloaded, only two of them worked. That only two of them actually had the ROMs that come with them. So I mean, all the other tables, you know, all the other tables, they weren't there. You know, again, 
Why wouldn't you have them in your... Why wouldn't you have them with the folders? I mean, surely you'd want me to play your game, you know, surely you want me to play your games. So, and, uh, So, so yeah, it, like I said, I had a kind of a fight cage flashback. Now, you know, so probably what'll, what'll end up happening is I probably won't even bother with these. And even then, and even for the two tables that I managed to play, um, one, I don't think you can use a controller with them, or you kind of can, like, like the right analog stick works and stuff like that, but you mostly have to go with a keyboard, which I'm not a fan of. I gotta use a controller for playing pinball. And secondly, um, the, the two tables, there's a sharp pull to the right, like the ball, will go down and then whoop, veer over to the right. Um, I don't, and uh, I kind of glanced around, like, um, the, it'll also, uh, you also have access to the schematics of these tables. I didn't see an option to change the ball direction or anything like that. I, I, I don't even know what to look for. I mean, I'm, you know, I mostly play these tables, not design them. So I, I don't really know where to go. That's you know, the second problem I had with uh, VPX that I did on Fightcade. Okay, um, there's ROMs, you know, there such and such game is missing required ROMs in order to play the game. I don't know where to look. I mean, yeah, I could probably do a Google search, but how much Google searching do I have to do until I find what I'm looking for? Like I said a few minutes ago, you know, everything I need should be in that folder that I downloaded. I mean, say what you want about the piss poor quality of uh, FX3 and Arcade and all that, which, again, personally, I think they're just acting like a bunch of door-to-door -door salesmen. But anyway, you know, at least, at least you can download, install, and play them right then and there. I don't have to do, I don't have to go on Google to chase, you know, chase around the stuff that I need. You know, and I'm highly suspicious, and I'm like this with a lot of other programs, too. If I have to download a program just to make a program work, I'm already, I'm already suspicious of that. So, like I said, when it comes to new games, new programs, and whatnot, everything I need needs to be in that download file, or in that zip file, or whatever. I mean, outside of that, I don't want to bother. See, yeah, it just, it doesn't make any sense. So I'm, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a drink of some uh, Arizona green tea here. Hold on. And now that I think about it, too, um, either yesterday or the day before, another, another viewer came on. I can't remember his name, but he was kind of saying the same thing too. You know, B, you know, VPX is the end all be all of pinball. I mean, I mean, pinball arcade, pfft, FX3, bah. Yeah. Zachariah, eh, it's okay, but VPX is where it's at, but he was doing the same thing. You know, extolling the virtues of VPX. Again, it, it just, he sounded like a damn used car salesman, or he sounded like, you, you know, Sounded like he was trying to sell me something. I mean, you know, BPX could be great if it worked. You know, but, I mean, sorry to sound like a broken record, but out of all the tables to download, only two of them worked. They had all the ROMs and everything I needed. And even then, it's like some of the tables, I just thought about it. It's just like a few of the tables I've seen at the, uh, at the bowling alley. That's about 20 miles away from where I lived. It has a few of the tables. Uh, Funhouse is definitely one of them. I think Bride of Pinball was another. Um, the table, there's a, they need to be leveled, I think is the word. I think that's the word for it. Because, yeah, the ball will start, whoop, it'll start veering towards the right. You know. And then on top of that, um, it doesn't, the table, these two tables, they don't really play nice with OBS. I mean, my OBS program, it recognizes them, but, um, other games like, um, FX3 
and Zachariah Pinball, um, whenever you switch to another window, the game's pause, which I I don't care. I don't like what happens. The BPX tables, they're worse. If I switch to another window, like, um, it, it's like, it, like, it completely and totally freezes. Like, even looking in, uh, even looking in OBS, it's like, it's like I'm seeing a, a frozen uh, screenshot. So, yeah. Just a little, little bit on the wonky side there, so. But. Anyway, um, kind of moving along. And this is going to kind of sound like a bit of a first world problem. But, yeah, I couldn't post my blog yesterday. Or, or I should say today. Like I said, I try to... I try to post my Final Fantasy XIV blogs Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Um, my window is somewhere between 5 and 6 p.m. You know, when the when the traffic's highest, when the most amount, of, when potentially the most amount of people can see it. Well, looks like I decided to go ahead and do maintenance. Um, usually they do uh, maintenance like late at night. Not this time. They decided to go ahead and uh, start maintenance right right after my stream ended. So, okay, fine. The first statement was from uh, 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Pacific, so which means that uh, it'll end at 8 o'clock p.m. All right, I'll go ahead and wait out, wait out the couple hours then. And nope, they decided to go ahead and extend it to fucking 5 a.m. So that kind of, I mean, that fucks me pretty hard right there. Again, it probably sounds like a first world issue. But now I have to wait until tomorrow. I have to wait until tomorrow in order to in order to, in order to post the thing up, and that assumes I actually remember to. And I don't. I don't. I don't like my unposted blog sitting there on my computer, like you know, in case of uh, in case I fuck it up and accidentally all that or or. or or if I'm in the middle of trying to post it up and my computer decides to do a random restart like it did yesterday. Like, uh, I think yesterday's stream, I actually actually could have been on sooner, but I had to wait another 10, 15 minutes because my computer decided to restart. I tried to play some music, music and boom, it decided to do a restart. But, you know, stuff like that, so... So now I'm gonna be left spinning my wheels until until probably tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. So. And that also means I have a. Hang on, I'm still I'm still thinking here. But yeah, they're putting in a they're putting in a brand new patch, Final Fantasy XIV. But, you know, I don't, you know, this is usually whenever they do this, you know, the loads, you know, they do this kind of maintenance thing at night. And even if it's a full blown patch, the, oh, for those that don't know, in case I didn't say already, the lodestone is where I go to post my, uh, post my blocks. It's a, it's a blog site, but this is also, I think it's, Probably the first time that I can recall when they actually did this uh, maintenance in the evening and not late at night. So usually, whenever whenever it's a brand new patch, it's just the game that's getting uh, that's getting upgraded or getting maintenance, not the lodestone. So I think this is the first. But again, it. It probably sounds innocuous, like, you know, why don't you just wait until Tuesday afternoon or evening to post it? Well, it kind of sets shit back. Again, I don't... I don't want an unposted blog in my computer. Because if something happens... If something happens where it gets deleted, or if, if, it, get, if it otherwise gets fucked with for whatever reason, that's a whole weekend's worth of uh, history gone. So, and again, um, the, um, uh, the new graphics card that I have in my computer, 
it doesn't play nice with my motherboard. So, it'll, it'll occasionally cause my computer to just suddenly restart. And sometimes there's, and there's times where I've actually had to go through and, uh, you know, change settings back to what they originally were, and, you know, sometimes things are off, like, you know, like, uh, right after my computer restarted yesterday, I think, uh, the volume on my, the volume was just jacked up to the max, turn on some music, like, super loud, I had to turn it all down, you know, that kind of thing, so, there could be some nasty side effects from those. Um, and, um, and one other thing I need to bring up, um, I've talked about this before, uh, but there's going to be a new fighting game coming out. Uh, I think it's scheduled to be released in the summer. Um, DNF Duel, it's a new 2D fighter. I've looked at, um, I've looked at beta tests. Uh, oh, I'm, uh, taking another drink here. But, uh, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't access it because I believe it was console only. You can only, uh, download it on PS4 or PS5, not PC, so I was kind of left out. But, um, but I guess, uh, one, one thing that, that I guess a lot of people in the FGC, fighting game community for short, or it's short for fighting game community, um, was the lack of training mode and the lack of uh, offline content. Like, the only option you had on here was to go up against other players. But I got, I, I kind of understood because the only reason why they were, these were uh, these were out is uh, they were only for uh, beta tests. They were just testing the online to see how well it works and all that. Testing their ability to see how well they work, you know, that kind of thing. So, so I kind of understood why they didn't do it. Um, but I guess one one little burning question that I have is uh when this game does come out somewhere in the summer, is it going to have one? Um, I'm hoping it is. You know, cause like a lot of other people, I never got a chance to do the beta. And so yeah, I'd like there to be some kind of some kind of catch up mechanic. You know, because I mean you got a whole bunch of these other players that actually did the beta testing. They had, they're, they basically stole it a march on us PC players. So yeah, I'd like to, I'd like there to be a training mode and stuff like that, you know. You know, so I can get brought up to speed with all the other players. But I, I, I haven't really looked into it, but I've got this small little, oh, excuse me, second. But I've got this small little sneaking suspicion that they're not going to have a training mode or offline stuff in there at all. And uh, if they don't, then yeah, I'm not even going to bother. Because it... That's... that, Because I could I could just see a lot of these... I could just see a lot of these... Uh, a lot of these guys that did the beta test... Probably, probably end up being a bunch of assholes about it. Like, sink or swim, buddy! Hey, man, I did this beta test without a training mode, and I got through it just fine, man. You know, if I can do it, you can do it, you know. Get good scrub, you know, all that kind of thing. So, you know, so, yeah, I mean, I don't want to have to, I mean, I, I mean, it's kind of, yeah, now that I think about it, that's kind of a moot point, though, because even, even if they did put a training mode and offline stuff in there, you're probably still gonna get the old message training mode. Kids these days, they got so easy. They got their training mode and their offline content. Back when I did the beta man, we didn't have that kind of thing. We had to walk up the hills in the snow both ways to play our matches, you know, that kind of shit. So, so yeah, I kind of, kind of feels like I'm rambling, but Anyway, short recap, this is supposed to be coming out in the summer, um, so if I'm still streaming pinball, I don't know, this is a little, kind of a forecast here, but when this game comes out, 
chances are I might be breaking off from streaming pinball and playing this instead. Um, one thing about this game, uh, there's a, uh, there is no motion inputs, so there's no quarter circle forward, half circle back, etc. Um, they're all one button specials. So that was one of the things I found appealing, you know, because I'm not a, I don't like churning butter with my controller, because it's already experienced in wear and tear. I mean, hell, I, I forgot to mention this during my uh, pinball stream too, but it's becoming a problem. Um, my controller starting to freeze. Like I'll, I'll hit a flipper or both flippers, and despite me releasing the buttons, the flippers are still up. Like it's like my controller's frozen or something. So it's there's there's some wear and tear there. So ha not having to deal with churning butter on a fighting game is gonna be real helpful. So, but yeah, like I like I said, this is one of the re this is one of the reasons why I'm kind of interested in this game. So, but we'll we'll see what happens when the summer comes. So. But otherwise, um, that's gonna do it for me, everybody. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and call it good. And I've already gone a little over long. I've already gone almost 15 minutes over. Like I said, I was trying to keep this around 15 minutes because I need to get this uploaded before midnight. So. But like I say, it seems I kind of overachieved on this. So I'll go ahead and call it good here. So, But otherwise, hey, thanks for uh, tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And um, I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow, which will be my last one for the week. So, But until then, though, thanks again for coming by, everybody, and see you all next time. Bye for now.